people may soon be able to get their COVID-19 vaccination without a needle. Clinical trials are underway for a nasal COVID-19 vaccine, which scientists believe could muster a wall of immunity right where viruses find their foothold, ultimately blocking the spread of the virus, preventing even mild infections. And as Raquel Mugai reports, three of the 18 nasal vaccines in clinical development are in phase three trials, with scientists banking on them as a game changer for the pandemic. If the clinical trials by scientists across the world is anything to go by, then the COVID-19 job will soon change into a sniff. Scientists now want to deliver inoculations to the site where the virus first makes contact, the nose, blocking infections entirely. Experts likening the mucosal vaccines to putting a guard at the front door, as opposed to waiting until the invader is already inside to attack. According to Dr. Wele Sahwale, the chair of the COVID-19 Vaccine and Vaccination Task Force, the nasal vaccines could really help, given that a majority of people fear the needle. He further adds, and I quote, nasal sprays will still get into the blood. It is not so much the source of infection, but the body reacting to something called an antigen. We welcome innovation, and we will depend on the World Health Organization recommendations. Dr. Givenji Gitai, the global chief executive officer at AMREF Health Africa, also agrees, stating, and I quote, concerns are many, including sneezing, as well as inability to penetrate the mucosa. But there is guarded optimism, as there is no existing successful nasal spray vaccine. Nasal vaccines are not a new idea, but they are far less tried and have stumbled over the years. Flu mist, the influenza fighter that's the only one ever to make it to market since its debut in 2003, fails to live up to predictions. Regulators fearing the safety mechanism might fail in the elderly have been reluctant to recommend it to anyone older than 50 years, the biggest chunk of the flu vaccine market. In Switzerland, a similar vaccine introduced to the Swiss market in October 2000 as the first licensed intranasal influenza vaccine in the world was linked to cases of facial paralysis. Many nasal vaccines depend on live or weakened viruses, which may limit their use in people who are immunocompromised or pregnant. Safety will be scrutinized because the nose is so close to the brain. According to the World Health Organization, at least nine labs and companies around the world are developing the nasal vaccines. Three are in phase three clinical trials where they are being tested in large groups of people. The universities of Oxford, Yale and India's Bharat Biotech are among those companies. Two years into the pandemic and COVID-19 continues its marathon. Scientists racing against further lethal virus mutations to create nasal vaccines that will have to compete against highly effective vaccines that trigger strong protection against severe illness. Brakel Mugai, Citizen TV.